it's 5 p.m. So I I think we can we can start. Sorry. Ah, it's fine. <laughs> okay. So um, hello everyone. Um, my name is Mateusz Mateusz Krzysztofek. I'm working as a front end uh, developer at Creative Style. Um, and I'm here today to talk to you about the native store pickup uh, support in uh, multi source inventory module uh, for Magento. Um, a little bit about me. As I previously said, I am a front end dev at Creative Style. I'm totally into Magento performance. That's my second thing I usually do besides hacking the checkout. Um, and I'm heavily involved in the checkout implementation of in-store pickup feature. Uh, that's why I'm here today to talk to you about it uh, a little bit more. Um, yeah, as you can see, I am a certified Magento developer, which helped me a lot. So uh, if you are thinking about getting certified, then I really think you should do it. OK. Um, what it is this whole in-store pickup feature in Magento? What is this all about? Um, you you actually may may already came across this in a few shops already. Um, this feature should allow you to just pick up your order that you did in the Magento store at the designated places. Usually those can be stores, actually, uh, physical stores that your clients have. But it can also be anything from pack stations to like some kind of service point, for, for example, from DHL. Um, this feature is being developed for some time now uh, by the community with a great support from Magento. Really, they are awesome uh, in, in helping the community making it happen. And also, we, we are hoping to, that it will be included as a part of multi-source inventory project. Because it's m most likely will be a part of multi-source inventory project, I would like to give you a brief uh, introduction what it actually is uh, if you haven't came across it uh, so far. So it also started as a community project. Uh, there were some people who were involved in making it happen first. Um, then Magento actually incorporated it. Uh, and right now, it's a full-featured part of Magento 2.3. So if you are already on Magento 2.3, then you most probably <laughs> need to have this multi-source inventory baked in. The main difference between uh, what we had previously in Magento 2.2 and what we have in multi-source inventory is this whole change of structure. Uh, first of all, uh, right now the inventory is being configured per source, and we can have multiple sources of this inventory. I will tell you how that fits into an in-store pickup uh, in, a, in a brief moment. And then those sources are actually assigned to a stock and we can assign stocks to certain websites. Where previously we only had a single stock um, assigned to all websites, right now we can have, as you can see, different uh, stocks assigned to different websites. Um, and this gives us the ability to configure multiple sources, which will come in handy in in-store pickup. And this is actually the main feature uh, which enables us to do a native in-store pickup in Magento. Um, if you already came across configuring sources, wow, it's so bright. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, then this will this uh, um, screen will be a, a little bit familiar to you. Besides our normal fields like a name and the description that we have, we are gaining additional configuration fields in the admin panel for each of the sources. First of all, we can say that it will actually be used as a pickup location. So if we have the source of um, inventory we can say that at this point uh, users can uh, pick up their orders. We probably would like to add some uh, coordinates that we have on the left side. And also we are getting this whole section of address data and pickup location data, which will also come in handy uh, further along the way when we are talking about uh, front-end implementation and front-end looks and how clients are actually interacting with this in-store pickup in Magento. Mm. Um, 
first of all, uh, at first we only had mockups. Right now, fortunately, we already have uh, working solutions, and this is what I'm actually showing to you right now. You are <laughs> the, the, the first of few people who actually can see it, uh, how it is coded in Magento. So uh, in addition, as you can see, this is, this is a native Luma checkout, but we have those additional switchers at the top, which lets users, the clients, um, choose which delivery option they would like to uh, have for their own order. We have a standard shipping, whether we have the normal shipping uh, f form, and we have the picking store, which looks like this one. It's pretty simple for now. There are um, many extension points, which I'll talk to you about later. But uh, this is only the, the basic information that we need for now. You can provide your email address. And this is a normal email address um, field that we have in the checkout. So there's nothing new. But we have this one additional store selector. Um, which, which allows users to actually uh, choose which store they would like to pick their order in. Uh, if we click the select store, uh, then we are getting this whole pop-up uh, with the um, search with uh, geolocation uh, enabled, uh, which lets uh, users search through all of the sources which were assigned to a certain website. So uh, if our clients, uh, if we have a multi-language and multi-country store, then actually they will get the right uh, sources nearest to their own addresses in here. Um, once we select the ship here, uh, we can proceed to the checkout and place an order. And this is how the orders in the admin panel actually look like. You can see that this is a bit different because the shipping address is now our uh, store address. This is, this is the, the one thing that is different. The billing address is being required. Um, uh, by Magento, and users are required to actually provide it. Uh, we have, uh, and we have a custom in-store pickup delivery, uh, pick in-store shipping method, which you can use to differentiate um, orders from the ones that should be shipped norm normally and the ones that will be picked up. In addition, in the database, we also have uh, for each order um, the ID of the store that were picked. So in a um, situation when you would like to um, do some integration with ERP uh, or uh, PIM, then you can easily do it judging by the ID of the source that were selected and the delivery uh, method that the clients actually chose. Uh, we, yeah, it, to be honest, at first um, we only had a brief um, idea what um, merchants and agencies will need uh, in terms of in-store pickup other than actually giving the option to pick in-store. But there are some potential extension points which are already confirmed to be working, and I can tell you in a minute why. Um, and I will show you some examples. Uh, first of all, you can, uh, you, are, you, you can feel free to provide any additional information to your sources, like open in hours, plant closures, so that your clients are actually not uh, surprised that some kind of store is no longer open, etc. cetera. Uh, this you can see. Um, uh, yeah, I don't. Yeah, this, this the quality is not so not so good in this in this thing. But we added on, on an opening hours already to to this implementation. Uh, but also, what you can do is to not only use pickup location as a, a physical stores that y your clients have, but also some kind of pack stations, service points, or basically any locations where you drop your um, orders and uh, people can actually pick them up. Uh, the last, I think one of the most interesting features that uh, many shops already have are store finders, where uh, we let uh, users to search the, where are the nearest physical stores 
Um, and this is also something that you are able to implement on top of this in-store pickup. Because once you have this whole um, uh, collection of sources configured with coordinates and uh, address information, then uh, pulling all of this data using GraphQL, which is al also already uh, ready to be uh, used and outputting it uh, on top of the map is uh, Easy peasy. So uh, the the data is already there. Everything that uh, is needed to be done is to just uh, code it on top of that. So um, at this point, because I was I was talking that it is going to be uh, in the Magento, but it's still in the works. To be honest, we are all still working on a separate branch, which is called Instore Pickup on, on the MSI module, Magento Inventory Repository. So the obvious question is, should I use it? Should I be even interested in this solution at this very early stages of it? And uh, is it mature enough um, to, to be used in, in any uh, bigger project that is going to land uh, on production? And at this point, I can already tell you that we did at Creative Style. We had a client approached us who has 1,800 physical stores and uh, spread across multiple countries. And they wanted their clients to be able to both ship uh, their orders to their homes or pick them up at the stores. Um, so we saw that as a contribution uh, um, potential, and w we, we actually spent some time uh, uh, and invested, invested our resources in helping Magento uh, um, to make the in-store uh, pickup happen. And this is, this is our own implementation, how it looked like. This is something that I was talking to you about. Um, this is the pro project that we did. Uh, as you can see, they have a lot of physical stores in Germany only. Uh, the the, the 1,800 1, is actually for the whole Europe. As you can see, we already used those extension points that we have to provide an opening hours for each of the stores. This is something that is being provided every day, so this uh, has to pe pe perform well. There is a lot of data that we had to transform, and we actually fixed some uh, performance issues along the way. So if you are thinking if this whole solution can manage all of the stores and products that your client has, then with uh, a really high level of confidence, we can tell you that it uh, will. Um, this is also how it looks like in the checkout. As you can see, we've styled it a bit, uh, but this is true to what I actually um, to what I actually told you about previously. We had some op additional opening hours. Um, we have the search with the autocomplete and the option to um, uh, to choose a store in which uh, the the order should be. Uh, shipped into. So what I would like to ask you about right now is to get involved in this um, uh, in this solution. We really need your feedback, all of the agencies and all of the uh, integrators that would like to use it for their clients. If you have some kind of feedback, uh, uh, then please share it, get involved. Everything is open sourced, uh, and uh, those repositories, as I told you previously, we have a branch called Store Pickup, which can be already installed. What I, what I showed you previously is this NKD store. It is already on production, uh, taking mm, orders uh, in, a, in an average rate of one order per minute. So this is, this is already going. Please uh, join the Slack if you'd like to discuss what it can do for you and what it can't. Because um, otherwise, we have funny stories like we had here um, that uh, nobody thought of, that, uh, about 
the, the fact that uh, once user do, users do the order, we need some way to actually identify them in the store. So, um, and, and it turned out that uh, email address and order number is not enough. Uh, it would be nice to actually know who ordered something to the store. And this was, this was a revelation that came during the implementation, something very, very obvious. Mm, but uh, yeah, as I said, uh, we really need your feedback and we really need your involvement uh, into, this, uh, into this feature. Uh, I think that at this point uh, we have a lot of time and I would be very, very glad to take your questions if there are any uh, so I can answer them right here. Uh, so if you have any questions, then please go ahead. Okay, so in case you come up with something, please uh, uh, don't hesitate to catch me. I will be walking around. We have our own stand. This is the one with the beer. So uh, I, I think you can, uh, you can uh, actually pinpoint it quite uh, easily. I will be also at the after party. So if you would like to discuss what we can do for you in terms of in-store pickup feature um, and how it should look like in Magento, if you have any feedback and you would like to have uh, help, then feel free to uh, contact uh, us. Uh, yeah, and I would like to thank you for your attention. This was a quick one. I'm really open for, for any information and any feedback towards this feature. So please get involved, as I said. And uh, yeah, I'll see you around. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>